Hey guys, my name is Reno. Uh, we're in my worldwide headquarters, uh, Armor Cody, in uh, Woodlawn, Tennessee. Today, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I just happened to have a test piece that I did for a company uh, with, that builds hot temp or builds fans. And this particular fan is for a hot temp application that goes into an oven. So what I did was I ceramic coated it, and it's a titanium and silver mix. So it's kind of gray, but it has still have a silver gleam, green, gleam to it. Sorry. Uh, but what I want to do is show you the temperature uh, rating. So what I have is an IR thermometer. They're not super accurate, but that's irrelevant. Plus or minus 100 degrees, because I'm going to bring it up to almost a thousand with some uh, propane, a propane torch. And my deal is afterwards, I have, uh, if you can't really look at this, I got some uh, water right here. You can come here and look at it. I got water right here. I got some propane, a propane torch. This is the ceramic. And we already did a test run, and it was right here. Slight discoloration, but that's it. Now, this is not a finished product. This is just a sample piece, but it is ceramic coated with some air dry. Uh, high temp ceramic paint. Spray it on, let it dry for five to six days, and then apply all the each one. So we're gonna do it in a different spot, completely opposite, and I'm gonna get the camera to show you the degree of temperature, what it's reading as I heat the part up. I wanna try to do this in one take, so no cuts, keep all the mistakes in here, uh, so that way you can see real application. So if I can get the camera to come onto this side right here. I'm gonna heat this right here up. So we're looking at right now, well, I just sprayed it, but uh, it's about 65 degrees Fahrenheit at right now, the temperature. So I just hit a little bit of blowtorch there, brought it up to about 90, but I'm gonna heat that up to about 700. We're gonna keep that camera on there. So that's getting up pretty close. We're almost at 500. I'm gonna let that run a little bit. Get that metal good and hot. Now you see uh, the stuff that's turning the uh, blue flame uh, yellow or red? That's just trash that's on there, kind of burning off. Get another test. We're about 700. See if we can get it on up there. So the paint's still at great integrity. Uh, the purpose of this, I'm gonna show you, cause I'm gonna bring it up to a thousand. If I had something, I could bring it up to 2000. That would be cool, but butane won't get that super hot, I guess. But a thousand degrees is pretty, We're almost in the 900 now. And as you can see, there is a red tint to the metal. So it is turning red. I'm gonna back it off here in just a second to see if I can show you the actual uh, temperature of it. Bring the camera in really close. And so it has a little red. I don't know if you can see that, but that is red hot. So we're at, you know, let it cool down. It, it'll start cooling down pretty fast once the heat gets taken away. The ceramic will, uh, and also this temperature gun's only rated to about, uh, I think it's around seven to 800. It starts to lose in accuracy, anything above that. And of course, reflective surfaces has that same uh, refraction rate, causes it to not be super accurate. But I think we're good there. So that's a good, uh, good part of the ceramic. An area that is really, really hot. So it is red, so it's gotta be at least around 900 to 1,000 on the minimum side. So right now, I'm gonna pour cold water directly on it. This is room temperature water, 68 degrees.
really fast and cool it down to 200 degrees. I'll put a little more, I'm gonna uh, try to get the part cooled off the best we can, and then I'm gonna clean it with some alcohol and a rag and show you that some of that soot that's on there will come off. It's still permanent. It still does what it's supposed to do. There is slight discoloration when you take it up to higher temperatures above a thousand and you add cold water right to it. It's a thermal shock, but it's still doing what it's supposed to do the way it was engineered. Yeah, you lose a little pigment, but it's still maintaining the high temperature. product up and see if any of the soot comes off because this is the first time I've ever really tested it like this I know what it's supposed to do but I've never actually done a product testing like this exactly to so bring the picture up closely and then I'll uh, clean it off there is a slight decoloration but the paint is still there no marking, no nothing, but you just get a slight discoloration because that was the hottest part and that was where all the uh, all the red metal was right there. So as long as you're not getting it over that, you're not gonna mess it up and, it, and especially if you don't put cold water right onto it, it should be good. And it'll maintain this right color, but it'll still maintain its uh, thermal protective barrier. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope y'all learned a little bit about it. And uh, stay tuned, I'm going to be trying to do more of these videos in the future. Of course, I've been kind of slacking in the last year or so, but business gets busier and priorities have to be changed. And But thank you for watching and y'all have a great day. Thanks.